This is the post detail page where all comments are displayed. First we have to add a new field in comments form. An email field, which will be required to send an email to the person, whom you have replied. And add this in server.js2. We also need the comment unique ID. We can generate a unique ID by using object ID function. And add this in comments object, inside push operator. Now you will see, we will also have email of user when someone commented. Now we need to show a reply form with each comment. The form will be created in for each loop. Call MD3 will set the width of the form. We will create the do reply function, which will be called when you submit the reply form. In reply form we need to get two fields from user. His name and his reply. Reply will be a text area, same as comment. And a submit button. Button SM means the size of button will be small. Also we need two fields. Post ID, and comment ID. So each comment will have its own reply embedded in it. We are getting post ID from post variable. And comment ID from for each loop. And both of these fields should be hidden from the user. Now we need to create a function that will run when this reply form submits. Creating a data object which will be sent in Ajax and setting all form fields in this.
Now create a new root name, do, reply. Generating a unique ID for new reply. We will be using update1 function, because we are just updating an existing document. First we will search the post by post ID. Then, we will search the embedded comment by using dot operator. And second object will be push operator. The dollar identifier will be used when you have to add an array element based on some search value. We need to use the dollar sign after comments, and before replies. Storing ID, name, and reply in newly created document. The third parameter will be a function which will be called once the reply has been added. Sending the response back with message, and with reply ID. It has been added perfectly. We just need to add the return false statement at the end of function. It will prevent the page from refreshing. Now we need to display replies of comments. First check if this comment has any replies. As you can see we are receiving replies as an array of objects. Creating a same layout as the comment box inside reply loop. Displaying the image of user. Then display the name of user. And finally the reply. Remove this line, it was just for testing.
In next tutorial, we will send an email to the person whom you have replied.